What's up members of the Peter Griffin household? It's your host with the most troublesome junction back at again with another video. Now this video is gonna be something that's very near and dear to me and my childhood. So for those of you who don't know, yes, Lego is a very big part of my life. I love Lego. I've been, you know, collecting it, playing with it since I was a kid. But another range that I'm still very adamant on and I love dearly is the Kinex line. In particular, the Angry Birds and the Mario Kart line. I literally have an entire tote filled with all of my Kinex Mario Kart track. If you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know. So this right here is a set that hasn't been opened or played with in 10 years. Now, I would be saying that as like, oh, it's a good thing it's new in box, but as you can see here and here, this thing's the furthest thing from mint. Honestly, this thing, I just was kind of skeptic on really opening it because I really just love the box art. Unfortunately, due to being moved around a lot over the years, yeah, this box is in very rough shape. I had a poll on my Instagram. I asked people if they wanted me to review the set and the majority of people said yes. This set is really cool. I love pirate themes and cowboy themes. And uh, the set is named All Hams on Deck. I really do like this set because there are several levels of Angry Birds that are ship themed. There hasn't been a direct pirate theme, but I still think that the aesthetic is still very cool. Now it's not my number one favorite set. That definitely goes to Runaway Railway. And then the one set that had uh, Terrence in it, it was based off of kind of the big setup, but without hard hats, which I think is very weird. Now, of course, we're gonna build this set in review, but I also do have a lot of the Connects Angry Birds mystery packs. I can definitely hear your questions. Why do you have those? How long have you had those? Why do I have blood on my face? You see, you're asking too many questions. Do you wanna see me open them or not? Now, since we're doing a lot of assembling, I think it's very important that we switch over themes here. Because here on this channel, we believe in safety first. No, the hell we don't. All right, it's now or never. So one thing a lot of people don't know about Connects and their mystery packs, they've made a lot for several different series like Mario, Plants vs. Zombies, all of which I have collected and do have. But uh, back here, they do have codes. And a lot of people, when it comes to unboxing these, never show the codes. Now, you can find the codes online, so I'm not going to be showcasing them in this video. If I ever do get the Wave 2 or 3, of course I would because... Everyone is so freaking stupid when it comes to unboxing these things because they never show this code. They just unbox it and move on. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description if you guys are interested in finding the codes for this. This is wave one, so we're just gonna unbox it and see what we get. From looking at the codes though, I think there is one duplicate, but other than that, uh, everything else should be pure. So without further ado, let's unbox them. Would have been much easier if I had a knife, but okay. Oh, looks like we have Matilda, okay. Uh, it's pretty cool because I actually don't have Matilda. I did recently buy the uh, Matilda set that comes with the sleeping pig, mainly because I wanted the sleeping pig, but uh, I didn't have Matilda, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, here's the checklist sheet of what you can get in this wave. You can get Chuck, the Space Red Bird, Lightning Bird, Frozen Pig, Medium Minion Pig, Bomb Bird, the uh, Space Bomb Bird, the Frozen Helmet Pig, Small Minion Pig, uh, Space Chuck, Ice Bird, Red, Blue, Matilda, Bubbles, and Helmet Pig. I'm more or less interested in the space of Frozen Pigs. I really want the Frozen Helmet Pig and then Bubbles because I don't have Bubbles anymore. I used to have the one that came in the board game expansion sets. As I said in my uh, Q&A video, uh, Corporal Pig slash Helmet Pig is my favorite Angry Birds character. So I would like to get more of him. And each of these guys does come with a little accessory though, as you can see on here. So yeah, that's, I think that is a pretty cool addition. So we have Matilda here who does come with just a white egg, which is very fitting because she pretty much, uh, you know, shits them out. But it really doesn't make sense though, because why would you let the eggs go if your main goal is to get them back? Who knows, maybe there's special eggs that just blow up on site. Uh -huh. But anyways, here's Matilda, which is pretty nice because of Matilda's redesign, which has been much more, you know, feminine to express the fact that, you know, egg laying bird is woman but i don't know whatever it's still very nice to have matilda on board though next mystery pack we have here is but a oh got a duck so i'm assuming this is oh it's bubbles awesome i got at least one of the characters i really wanted i didn't look at the sheet properly because i didn't look at what bubbles came with i thought it was going to be 
bomber, uh, the space helmet pig. As a kid, Bubbles was my favorite Angry Bird. Uh, my current favorite Angry Birds, though, are uh, Terrence and Hal. Bubbles is definitely up there, though, as like second. And then the all-important Rubber Ducky. I mean, I think it's very self-explanatory of why I like this. This is pretty freaking cool. I'll just make a pile for the accessories since they're really not as important. I'm really hoping I get another helmet pig or the frozen uh, minion pigs. I really love Angry Bird Space. Seriously, Rovio, bring it back. Uh, oh, we got blue. Okay, I'll take that. Because he does come with a really cool hand piece, and I think that that's kind of funny. So there's blue in here. One thing that is kind of cool about the Kinex birds is that they have a very rubbery texture on the outside because you are supposed to launch these things at the pigs. So they are going to be bumped around and hit. So it is pretty cool that they, you know, had that consideration that maybe we shouldn't make these solid plastic because we'll break them. It's kind of strange though that he has a little peg on his head. I don't know why, but hey, whatever. And who can forget the all important ham piece? We love ham. All right, this one's a big one. So hopefully, hopefully it's one of the pigs. Give me the frozen helmet pig. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, it's another Bubbles. Uh, I'll take it because I, once again, really do like Bubbles. I think he was the only duplicate that I kind of felt out there. So I'll, I'll just leave him to the side there. All right, coming in. Oh, I guess all the birds over there just died. Putting up this bag and... Da -da -da -da. Uh, come, get out. Oh, we got a Lightning Bird from Angry Bird Space. And I'll, I'll take it. As a kid, I used to play this claw machine that they had at uh, this uh, hotel I said at the Great Wolf Lodge. And one of the things that they had in there was an Angry Birds uh, claw machine. And I did win a plush of Lightning Bird years and years ago. So, I don't know, it's pretty cool. All right, so this guy just goes together like so. Nothing too important there. The Bluebird, pretty cool. Pile of accessories though. All right, here's the last one. Please give me a pig. I, I want a pig. At least one. I, I mean, I, I have, like, plenty of pigs in my collection, but, like, still. I really want the Space Frozen Helmet Pig. All right, and here we go. Come on, and... Oh! Hey! We did get a Helmet Pig, though. It's not the Frozen Space one, but we did get a Helmet Pig. Ah, uh, look at that. That's really cool. All right, so getting him out. Yeah, it's pretty much just a normal uh, larger minion pig with a helmet accessory. Like most sets really do uh, just come with like a helmet that you just kind of snap onto the head and boom, you have helmet pig. I'm not calling him Corporal Pig because I more or less associate this design with Corporal Pig and this one I just see as helmet pig from normal Angry Birds. Uh, and I know in Angry Birds Go merchandise, it shows that this pig being Corporal Pig I just typically call him Helmet Pig. He does come with an egg, which is pretty cool though. So I guess that is really nice. Years of these guys just sitting in blind bags is now no longer put to waste. And I think without further ado, let's get into the set itself. What probably took you guys 30 seconds to watch, this took me about 30 minutes to build. So here's the set all complete. I think now it'd be very fitting to take a lot of the accessories that we got from the blind bags to decorate this set. So let's do that. So we just put all the little decorations around the set. I put the ham down here because in Angry Birds, there's always like these weird structures and stuff like that, like boats or buildings or cars. And they always just have one section of it just filled to the brim with food. In the context, I guess it does make sense because you know, you have to have a place to feed the pigs, you know, even though it is just assembly of blocks and wouldn't function as a boat, you know, it's meant to be that illusion, I guess. 
And in the same way that there's just this little watermelon just kind of chilling here, I like to think that that's just like supplies for the fortress thing over here. The set also did come with this little uh, brown uh, extra wood piece. I'm using it like this to put the eggs on it, just to kind of act like a nest to sit over to the side. Ignore the fact that there's not three eggs here. Just assume the pigs fucking killed one of them. You know, I think the pigs are gonna have a hard time handling this bunch of birds, so I think they could use some backup. Yeah, I think that's enough pigs. Now you're probably wondering, where did I get all these pigs from? My thing to say to you is don't fucking worry about it. If I want the pigs, I can have the pigs, damn it. And just for good measure, we'll put Pac-Man right there. He can, he can, he can handle it. You know, actually, I really don't want to damage him. I love this SH figure art, so I'm going to move him. Back to the main set itself. Before we end up demolishing the pig army with our arsenal of birds, let's talk about the birds that you get in the set. Since we already kind of talked about Helmet Pig, we'll keep it relatively short. This is the one that came in the mystery bag, though. Uh, the other one, surprisingly, it actually does have, if I try and reach over here and grab it without uh, knocking everything over. There we go. You actually say, see that they're a bit different. I don't know if it's misprinting, but this one has higher eyebrows than this one. This is the one that came in the set, and this is the one that came in the uh, mystery bag. Uh, it's still really cool though. I don't know, little little details like that. Maybe it's intentional, maybe it isn't. Now the hard thing is gonna be to get them back in there without knocking everything over. The way that this set works, if you had sell those green bricks down there, they use this weird system of like, it's a one by two piece, but it only has a stud on one side, the other side's a tile. So it makes it easier for the pigs to fall off and the bricks to break off. Because when I was assembling this set, I don't know if you had noticed it, but the pieces were very hard to put together. Like they were just like very stiff and tight. I mean, on one hand, it makes it easier for assembling this, but on the other hand, you know, you are supposed to knock it over and stuff. It was kind of a chore to squeeze all the pieces together and stuff, you know, hence why our good pals over at Lego definitely have the superior building system. Can't really say the same thing when it comes to connecting rods and stuff like that, because our good pals over at Connects definitely are on top of their shit. But Lego definitely reigns in the building block world. Next character I wanna talk about is Minion Pig. It's this tiny little guy here. Uh, comes in two halves, you can see right here. Um, splits open like this, so then dropping his head. It go opens like this. Uh, the pigs, unlike the birds, they are a hard plastic material. Like they just feel like an actual Lego brick wood. They don't have that rubberiness to them, which I don't know. I mean, I prefer it because you know, when you're working with rubbery materials, they tend to break more. Uh, there's, uh, looks like Foreman Pig just kind of died there. Save him, put him back on the TNT brick. This is a really cool piece too. It's pretty much like a one by two brick with indents on it. So it does look pretty much identical to the TNT from the game. Moving on to the birds, we do have red here. I have not had a normal red in a very long time. So this is really nice to have. You know, he comes in a lot of sets though, so you know, if you do collect the Connects Angry Birds line, you will end up with a lot of reds. And then of course we have Chuck, AKA Yellow Bird here. Looks really nice. The indent back here for where you slot them in at. You know, really cool. Kind of strange though, the Mohawk is to the side rather than it should be like this facing forward. Uh, I do have a comparison here. If you compare them to the Commonworth uh, Yellow, you can see there that this is more of what he should look like, but Hey, I guess if you want that heads-on perspective, then sure. All right, boys, enough fiddle fucking around. We're gonna put the birds on the launchers right here. I mean, I guess it won't really show on camera. We're just gonna be launching. The way you launch them is you lo load them up like this. You can swivel them side to side like this. I don't know how much difference that'll have in your launch because you're still launching it forward like this, but you, you can do it, I guess. And then, of course, you just slam it down to them. Ah, I got helmet pig. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna use bubbles since we have two bubbles. So weird putting him on there because he does not stay. He's just like kind of, look at that. <laughs> He's so small. All right, bubbles, go get him. Okay, maybe not. All right, other bubbles, go get him. Nice car. I mean, you did better than the other bubbles, but you guys could have definitely done better. All right, Blue Jay, we're gonna go get him. Jay, Joe, Jay, Jonah, Jaminson is, I mean, hey, I got one pig. All right, now we got a bigger bird. We got Chuck on the, Chuck on the mic. See, I mean, he's good with breaking wood, so maybe he'll do the damage. 
Oh, damn. We're gonna actually relaunch him. I, I wanted to see him actually do some kind of damage. Uh, okay, I, I guess I just fucking win. You know, I'll pick it up and like reset the pigs that like haven't fallen off the table. You know, I mean, I guess we'll keep the bottom off because you know, whatever. But I mean, hey, we did a considerable amount of damage. You know, whatever. Helmet pig is just on the floor now. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to clean up. All right, Matilda. She, I think she's the biggest bird. She definitely sits on the best um, for what I have. Uh, Terrence, I think, is the biggest bird, but he only comes in like one set. There was a listing of him on eBay though that I might buy because I mean I do. Terrence, is, as I said before, Terrence and Hal are my favorite birds. Uh, I think it would just be kind of fun to have them. All right, Matilda, go go get that one near the TNT. Said go get him near the TNT. Oh, oh, okay. I guess she said no. There we go. All right, uh, Lightning Bird, even though you're in Angry Bird Space, which is definitely the best Angry Birds game, if you say otherwise, uh, go jump in a pit of fire. Uh, go hit that pig over there. <laughs> I, I said, like, you know, you could have, like, actually done some damage there, but uh, I, I, I guess not. You know what, guys? I think this is about time I call him the Mighty Eagle for this job. Mighty Eagle, go fuck him up. Wait, did you guys hear a duck? Oh, my God! So reassembling the set, there are some things I want to talk about, and there are a lot of good things about this set. I think that the build for one, just look at this. This screams Angry Birds. Like, it looks like it was taken straight out of the app. The way that the bricks just kind of go together, they look like they're all together, but they're still like the rounded edges and stuff like that, just makes it look like it was assembled out of building blocks from the game, which I get the fact that, yeah, building block system, building block type of game, there's gonna, it, it's an obvious giveaway, but I don't know what it is. I just feel like if this was built in Lego, it just would not look the same or feel the same as Kinex. You know, I don't know what it is about it, but it just definitely has a very solid Angry Birds aesthetic. And I love the fact that the birds are also like very unique. Like Lego would have definitely made more stylized choices if they were given the rights to normal Angry Birds. They would have probably been more brick built. I do like the fact that Connects they're notorious for making specialty molded parts for characters and sets and stuff like that. For one, just look at the Connects Mario line or the Plants vs. Zombies line. And then of course this line. Like these minifigures and stuff like that, I feel like Lego definitely wouldn't do this. I know the only thing to actually compare this Angry Birds line to is the Lego Angry Birds movie line, which I don't think that's a fair comparison because those guys are definitely more stylized. And I feel that those guys work very well with Lego's aesthetic, but I think these guys work more with Kinect's aesthetic. Kinect is definitely much more generous when it comes to making specialized molded parts, whereas Lego's definitely more stingy and likes to use what they have. And I think that the choices of characters are really solid. You get a helmet pig, two minion pigs, and then two of the most iconic birds from Angry Birds. I don't think this set was the most expensive back in the day. Probably ran about between $20 to $30, which I think that's a very solid and fair price. You know, I think that it's great. And then of course, when you buy the mystery packs too, you know, I do got to talk about those. For the fact that you get not only a bird, but a tiny accessory to build upon these sets. Like these rubber ducks are directly from the games. You know, the food things, and then of course the little gem here, and the eggs too. Like, I think that those are just solid choices in what you should do if you make a blind bags thing. You know, if you buy blind bags for something, you should be able to expand upon what you have not only figure wise, but give them a little accessory or something like that. Cause these things really do run for about like $5 a pop back in the day. And I think that that is such a really cool thing. Now, the only flaws that I do have with this set is one, assembling the pieces, they were very, very stiff to go together. They don't feel like the quality of like Lego where they just kind of snap together and feel smooth. There's really no, not too much resistance in it. But when you put these together, they feel very, very stiff. Like they really weren't meant to go together. But I don't think Connects really uses the brick system anymore. They really use this kind of rod system. But I think for me, the biggest flaw with this set, I really don't like these masts. I wish that they had used, like, as I said before, Connects is much more generous with specialty parts. I would have liked to have seen these maybe been molded into one solid piece, like make this a big T-shape and then this a big T-shape, or maybe have made these individual beams like one solid beam, one beam here, use this, and then one beam here. 
Like, I just don't like the fact that there are individual bricks because when you're assembling it and then if you knock it over, it's very easy to lose these things. And it's just as a whole, like these are definitely the most like flimsy part of the set. Like they're held on by one singular stud. Like I just really don't like the masks as much in terms of just like sitting it on your shelf, it'll do the job. But when you're actually playing with this, this is meant to be knocked down. I think having it so that the pieces, yeah, they come apart, but they're also pretty easy to put back together so you can keep playing over and over again. As I said before, this set uses these specialized pieces. I'll reach over here. It uses these uh, specialized uh, one by two pieces right here, which I feel that this is a very solid solution. Seeing as the bricks are already very stiff to go together and they're probably not gonna snap as easy, having it so that they have those giveaway points and that it's pretty easy for them to snap off, I think that's a very genius move. It definitely does hit that fine balance of it can fall apart, but it also can hold itself together when you're just playing with it or to give some kind of challenge or resistance. I think that this set is great wholeheartedly. It definitely is a lot better than those uh, Angry Birds board game sets where those ones just give you straight up basically plastic Jenga blocks. I love those board games and I do collect them. That's why I have so many of those pigs. But the one thing I will say, when you're building with connects, you know, these are brick systems that have interlocking ways. So putting them together like this, having these free floating pieces, I could leave this here, leave it till come back tomorrow, and I know it will still be together. You use these Jenga block plastic pieces, chances are it's gonna fall apart way more easy and set it, setting it up is definitely gonna be much more of a hassle. So I definitely do think the Connects line really hits that fine balance between the two but I will wholeheartedly say the Angry Birds board game has the superior launcher. This thing is like, I don't know. It's just, I definitely think that they did a pretty good job with the launcher and working with the limitations, but I don't know, man. For the fact that some of the smaller birds, they don't fit as well into it, I think there could have definitely been some kind of changes of innovation that could have taken play here. I know they couldn't, of course, make this an actual slingshot because then children would be shooting each other in the fucking faces. But I do think for what Kinex was working with, they did a very solid job. There are some definite nitpicks I have with this set, but I really do think this is a solid set. I give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. And if you're into Angry Birds and you like this kind of stuff, I'd highly recommend it. My personal favorite sets are, as I said before, the Runaway Railway, and I love the Angry Birds space ones. I, if you guys wanna see me review my Angry Birds space sets, because I do have several of those, if you wanna see me do a big review on those, I will gladly do it. So that's all I gotta say for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh my God, not again!